Hi, welcome to my Street Muscle Diaries and we're running some numbers. This is a good place to do it because it's not right in town. All right, so we're gonna stop, get it set, and here we go. zero to 60 I didn't stop because I'm on an interstate you know nice okay so my first one I kind of screwed up I did break traction a little bit because I'm in track mode which is the least amount of uh, traction stability control with torque management to your rear axle so this one was very good very very good so right on the 3.9 second marker so the weight reduction works folks I'm at 3.9 that was only my second try so very very happy with the results um, so far that was my first test so it's not 4.3 4.4 now I'm in the three second range on a zero to 60 with a scat pack so there you go weight reduction BF Goodrich comp two tires they're G4 series they're excellent all season tires and they are sticky for all season radials now if I added drag radials I would be able to um, you know shave that down by another three tenths two or three tenths I've already shaved down two tenths from um, adding better tires from the stock Pirelli's way better tires and um, with the weight reduction modding and good throttle control your skills you know roll into the tip in don't worry about you know jumping on hot on that throttle until you you feel your rear tires hook up that's the key then you give it the juice. So that's about it. I, I just wanted to try that first time. I promised you all I would start running times. So 0 to 60, 3.9, baby. I'm going to try, obviously, for 3.7, 3.8. Because then you're getting into, um, you know, uh, Scat Pack 1320 times then with drag radials and a drag pack. But on street radials, it's really tough to get those same numbers. It depends on your DA and your driving skills, surface conditions, etc. You know, to get those perfect numbers. That's you know, manufacturer stated numbers, anyways. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, break out the octopus cam mount and uh, start running some numbers. So, you know, three seconds. High three seconds, zero to 60 is very possible without drag radials. Even with a little bit of slippage, I still was able to break under four seconds. So not bad, folks, not bad. I'm very happy with the results so far. And I know part of it is my skills, but part of it is the weight reduction modding. Absolutely, 100%. I, I was right around 4.1 before, 4.2, and yeah, absolutely, man. So, I'm going to just pull into this Maplefield gas station down here on the interstate exit. And I'll close you folks out. Pick it back up. There we go. 
and I'm just gonna roll over, roll over, uh, pull over. Hopefully I don't roll over. And I'll close you all out, and I'm gonna roll down the windows and go ambient, so. I'll wait for this cement mixer to do his thing. kind of pull over here behind this semi there we go get safe and then I'll unhook the cam and click boom there we go okay so as you can see the weight reduction modding works absolutely am I obsessed with numbers no maybe a little bit I don't know I mean, I, I, I don't really, I'm not really being, everybody has com competition in them and is competitive. Is my vehicle faster than the other guys? And, you know, what are the, what are his numbers? Is he a good driver? Can he beat me? Of course, everybody thinks of those things. I'm going to roll down my windows. See, I can just go boom, 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 roll them down, put it back in the hole. And turn off my AC because I'm going to go ambient because I'm not filming anymore after this piece. Um, appreciate you all joining me for my muscle car journey and adventure. To me, it's an adventure. I love these cars. I don't really care what technology comes out that's faster. I love muscle cars. Even the old ones are a lot of fun. I'd even do the same thing in the old ones. You know, ex I love experimenting. That's what I like doing. To a certain point how far do you want to go you know before you blow it out of inspection <laughs> legalness you know you got to be careful but it is the cheapest route to um, increasing per um, vehicle performance without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on bolt-ons and tuning which yes that will get you more gains but you're gonna spend a lot of money I'm nearly not into getting into a like a personal loan just to get you know I mean, it's just screw that i'm gonna leave this car naturally aspirated stock tune i'll do my weight reduction modding and have some fun and when the time comes i'll see what's available when i'm ready you know i'm still gonna keep this scat pack in my yard this thing will rot in my yard i've said it before i love this car like i said i don't care what's faster i know i can beat a lot of cars i already have so that's all that matters to me is is what works for you might not work for me and vice versa. You know, it just depends on what you're looking for. You know, some guys like those tight track cars, all wheel drive. There's nothing wrong with that. The M4 is a sick BMW, man, and that thing handles crazy. I mean, and Camaros, ZL1s, those are excellent cars too. Um, you know, stuff like that. I think I'm going to let my... Hemi cool because I just did some uh, runs with it so gotta let the Hemi cool I'm probably gonna pop my hood and uh, just let some air get in there oh also I took out the front cowl that goes across the front of the the 392 there out front I took that plastic off I did not take off the valve cover caps because they give the engine that look that it, I think it gives it the proper look. I see guys take those off. And that with the insulator underneath and then the strut tower caps. Um, you, you subtract you about a pound and a half or something. But honestly, I don't want to strip the engine bay naked like that. I think it looks really good with those components in there. Even though they're just visual, not really functional. Um, and it gives the, the Hemi the proper look, you know. You take those off and then you see underneath, I don't know, it just it looks way better with the covers on there. So I just decided to not take those off. So that's about it. Um, thanks for joining me again. Thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. Thanks for visiting my Facebook page, Base Lightning. If you are all on Facebook, you can check that out. It's basically the same content on both platforms. I just share it over. Just some people prefer YouTube, you know, whatever. 
it's basically the same content on both you know my youtube channel and my social media page for facebook so <laughs> it's not really much you know that's different but it just depends on what you prefer you know i just use both platforms to reach out uh, i keep my facebook stuff on friends now and more private um I've had some issues with people on Facebook way more than I ever did with YouTube. Uh, just people run on their mouth and it just basically idiots, you know. And that's fine, but if I keep it enclosed with my friends and followers and not open it up to general public, I just seem to have a better experience. And I don't want to lose all my music work I've done all those years on that virtual platform, so a virtual stage. So that's why I, I keep it. I was going to get rid of it and just go youtube exclusive but i get a lot more interaction on my facebook page because those are where all the people that i've grown up with are you know you know uh ex colleagues from work ex college mates you know people i went to high school with all that kind of stuff are on there we're not on youtube i don't know i don't think i know anybody who subscribed to my youtube channel and that's fine because that's more of my public domain and uh, i can still block out people if they're you know, mouthy idiots, whatever, clueless people that I call, that's what I call them, you know, um, I don't worry about it, I just enjoy my, my little world, my virtual stage for my hard rock music, I'm a musician, I play guitar, I play bass, I write songs, I produce, you know, that's what I do, um, and I drive muscle cars, so thank you for joining me, and I'm going to close you out, and let the Hemi cool, we'll catch you all on the next one.